Hello, my name is Sasha Smooth and Barry. I'm Refog Barry. And welcome to Two, Two Bros Physics. Two point two. Let's read it full. Why you call me? You call me. Call me a fool. I'm a. The first figure below shows the AVT plot for the sword and setup. So let me draw that. Okay, I'll read the remainder of the problem. No, no, uh, uh, the second figure shows the VT plot for a different setup. The third figure shows the XT plot for yet another setup. Which of the 12 labeled points corresponds to zero acceleration? Circle all that apply. To repeat, the three setups have nothing to do with each other. That is, the V plot is not the velocity curve associated with the position in the X plot, etc. So basically, we're trying to find where we have zero acceleration, in which of the three points we have zero acceleration. You mean like 12 points, right? Uh, 12 points, right. You see this point, right? Yeah. Well, A is the y-axis, right? Yeah. And here is y equals zero, right? Yeah. So therefore, here... It's also a equals zero. Oh. So that means. So that yellow point is one of the points where acceleration is zero. Yeah. Mm. So that means one of the repeated uh, letters in the victory cup is B. Wow. Cool. Cool. Um. Can I move that so we can fit the other possible yeah, yeah. letters? So, yeah. for the, so uh, he already got the location of the zero acceleration in the AT graph. What about the VT graph? Well, remember that to find acceleration from well, a VT well, graph, yeah. Have acceleration is just the derivative of velocity, mm -hmm. and a, a velocity is just the derivative of position, right? Right. So exactly, exactly derivative what he said. Derivative is also slope. Right. So, so we're basically looking for points here where the slope is zero. Right. Exactly. So. We're basically looking for points, he said it perfectly, where the slope is zero. Or like so, where it's leveled out. So this might be one of those points where the slope is kind of leveled out. And um, the on the other hand, the this has a kind of very um, upward slope. Upwardy like slope. 90 degrees. This one also has an upwardy slope. So you can kind of tell that those definitely won't be zero acceleration. But this one, so it's also this one. kind of leveled. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. So, so this one is also kind of leveled. Let's put so, uh, let's yeah. put E and H in, in our victory cup. E and H, you say, right? E yeah. and H. E, e and H. And H. Wow, that's a nice looking victory cup. And finally, Dang. for our position function, now I actually got stuck on this because I was like, how do you go from position to acceleration? What can you possibly do? Double derivative. Uh, yeah, but I mean, like, for a single derivative, you're thinking of slope. What do well, you think what about... The, what's the slope uh, of the... What's the derivative of a slope? What's the slope of a slope? Concavity. So, um, so that's... What's a concavity? So, I'll tell you. So, it's all about... Is it about, basically a parabola? No, so, no, that's actually the wrong hands, the wrong idea we had last time. So, the right idea is to think about, think about, um, let me hide this. It's to think about good things. What are good things? It's where the slope is maximum. The rate of change of the slope is maximum. Oh, okay. So, so the I rate think of that, that would be the middle. Like yeah, so you can kind of think J of it like this. Over here, the the slope is zero. Like Over sleeping. here, the slope is getting faster. Over here, the slope is getting faster very quickly. This is um, where the, the turnaround point where it's getting a little slow faster and then a little right. slower cannot be counted. So this this yellow point right here is where the slope is changing the fastest. But, but, so basically we're trying to find the, the derivative of the slope. Where well, what is the about the one below that point? No, Do you think it could go that's actually not going as fast. Okay, so but um, it's still a very fact, rapid change. No, it's right? not the fastest change though. We're looking for the fastest change. Well, I thought there uh, there could be more than one per graph. Yeah, there can be, but mathematically this is the one. And I was also confused, like you, you know, why is this the case? Well, this is actually called an inflection point. 
Can you say that for the audience? In fraction point? Inflection point. You wrote it like inflection point. So an inflection point is where the uh -huh. slope is changing the fastest. So yeah. So what is our final uh what is that point? That point is K. So, so let's put that in our final letter in the victory cup. Pretty sweet Alright, so uh, that's pretty much it. So what choices? Oh wait, no, yeah, those are the choices. B, E, H, K. So, uh... Oh, no, no, back. not yet. Remember, we're doing 2.3 as well. Oh yeah, uh, that's in the next video. So you want to thank the vi viewers and... Thank you who's for our, watching Who's our sponsor? Brilliant! Yes. Check oh, out Brilliant.org. Brilliant Chipsmen are coming for me! <laughs> Run! Check out Brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab for a 20% discount on your annual subscription. The ambition plus MKO plus scaffolding equal yeah. learning. We believe anyone can learn anything. That's why our motto is memorization is a crime. And that's why we partnered with Brilliant. Brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to E equals MC squared. Barry Science Lab and Brilliant is your MKO and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today. And the first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the Brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that you too can, can become, become the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall in love, love with math and science. science.